Hey folks, Joseph Isabari here. As we come to this, a rant video, this time for YouTube stupidity on their fucking bullshit copyright laws. When is this stupid crap ever gonna die? Because it's been going on and on and on for years now, and they haven't even fixed the goddamn thing. Well, it's 2016, and they still haven't fixed the system. Because um, 10 years ago, I first joined YouTube. Ever since I started watching all these uh, random videos, where everybody started posting episodes of TV shows, and then they started posting music videos, and all this other uh, random stuff that's on all these VHS recordings that I never thought I would see again. So I decided to create my own channel which I started out back in March of 2006 and I didn't post any videos that much until later in June of 2006 just after I was finishing my finals at college I started posting episodes of Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics as well as some closing logos that I taped off from VHS and all this other stuff that I had. I even had all these select TV materials from the VHS tapes that my dad recorded back when I was a baby. I even started posting some other TV shows that I thought maybe this will work. Yeah, because when I heard that the TV show Macaulay Nights was going to air it on TV, which is on Jetix, I was going to post all the episodes because it's not even on DVD. And it's still not on DVD in the U.S., but overseas it has been. And by the way, I had transferred all these VHS recordings, including the ones that I bought uh, at the first store, of all these uh, old-school Los Angeles... Um, TV station recordings of movies and TV shows with classic commercials from the 80s and all this other stuff that I put onto my VCR and transfer them into my DVD recorder that I purchased at Sears. That's right. Just so I can post it on YouTube. I mean, it doesn't matter how many views I'm going to get, but no matter what, everybody watched them, and they enjoyed them. I never thought I would really experience that over the years, and I did, <laughs> until all of them got lost. But I still have them, and they're always going to be kept. And then I started posting some other shows that I thought maybe this will work. And what do you know, it, the site just keeps getting better and better. Until fucking Google had bought them. And then we have other studios like Fox, Warner Brothers, and even Biacom decided to take down all my videos. I've been receiving a lot of strikes. And then after that, I got suspended on the beginning of February 2007. And since then, I went on to, to go on to so many better sites out there where they can let me post all the same videos that I posted on YouTube, such as Daily Motion, Live Video, Ning, and um, even Bermeo. And it's been hell having to do this and now I lost all my channels and I decided well maybe I'll give it a second chance to go back on YouTube which it took me a couple years to finally go back because I had to sign up under a Google account and I had to use Google Plus in order to get back to YouTube instead of using my Yahoo Mail account so that sucks. But at least now I can post some videos of my own 
by using a video camera which I'm using right now of course and sometimes use my webcam on the computer my laptop computer so now I can finally post some movie reviews and all these other random videos and even create all my spoof videos that I found on the internet like yeah like using all these uh, sneak preview footages and all this other stuff that I like to put in I thought that would be cool but boy does this copyright thing still continues I mean granted I'm glad I still have my channel and I'm afraid that my next channel might I'm, and I'm hoping that this channel doesn't get removed. I pray to God no, because I'm willing to take the risk if I had to, but I'm trying to do my best not to get in trouble. Even if I had to keep fixing all these videos, which I do. I'm just sick and tired of YouTube continuing to remove, block, and suspend other people's accounts. What I also don't like is that during those times, they started removing the audio. Because YouTube actually signed a deal with Warner Music Group to remove the audio on every single video whenever they start posting some music. And that really pissed people off. I hate that. It's getting fucking annoying. Because just recently, I started seeing videos like, oh, say, Nostalgia Critic, you know, Doug Walker, who just talked about that he just posted a video that Sally has been removed. Which I know he has been going through that over the years. That's why he had to end up going to another site so he can post his own videos before they filed that, before they were filed for bankruptcy. So now. He's trying to find an alternate, an alternative site, so maybe he'll finally be safe. But unfortunately, YouTube seems to be the only site that he had to take to do so. And, wow, when I saw that video that he was talking about, it turns out that the one video that he actually got removed turned out to be one of my favorite films of all time called... My Neighbor Totoro, a Studio Ghibli film. Unfucking believable. It was actually part of or this September uh, type of video that he was doing, mostly because he was just talking about the Disney version of My Neighbor Totoro. You know, the one that had uh, Dakota Fanning along with her sister Ellie. Yeah, because I would talk about the 1993 English dub. Even though I could also talk about the, the Disney dub as well. If I ever do review the film, hopefully in the future, but I hope they don't end up doing something stupid the way YouTube just did it with his video. Because that is just totally, totally wrong. Even if he didn't put any footages in it. Although he probably did. But he just tries to do his best. And then there was a video that was uploaded by I Hate Everything. I have watched some of his videos. Um, they're actually fun. Especially when he takes on movie reviews of other bad films. He was actually doing a review of some independent film called The Real Panda Hunter or whatever it's called. And the fact that he had tons of copies that he destroyed. And guess what happened? His video got removed. And worse, his entire channel was suspended. Until suddenly all of his friends had pitched in on Twitter or so just to fix this stupid problem. But what do you know? His channel finally went back up. Giving him an email message. Like it was normal. It took him like a few days to resolve this problem. I mean, sure, it may be happy that he finally got his channel back, but it doesn't solve anything that, that YouTube just continues to fuck up. And it just shows. 
And I'm really pissed off because they just remove one video that's considered to be inappropriate and that turned out to be the best and worst films of 2015 list that I came up with during last December. Ever since then, I started to move that video to Facebook because that's the only place to watch that. And that fucking sucks. All I just did was just trying to reveal all the list of the best films and the worst films. Because I mostly just post images. Poster images. Of all the movies that I've seen. What the hell? I thought all of these photos that I just posted were supposed to be fair use. I didn't even post a fucking footage of the film. I hardly ever do that stuff. Because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm tired of this crap. This really needs to stop. Or I could say this is that we need to take a stand. Hey, we need everybody out there to fix all the stupid shit that YouTube is doing. They need to fix their stupid copyright law system so that way they won't continue to come up with more bullshit like this. Because if they keep going on, then this site will be useless. It becomes a complete joke. And it just shows. Well, now that I get that off my chest, and I hope this doesn't happen to my channel or anybody else's. Because if something bad happens, they're going to get it. So anyway, that's my rant. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.